Hey guys, Shakar Cyclone here, and uh, yeah, playing Portal 2 here, and we got our knocked down into a pit and at the bottom of a salt mine, and this actually nice looking 1950s decor. Like, I wouldn't mind having one of these chairs and uh, ashtrays. I don't smoke. God, what is it with people in the 50s and smoking? Oh, oh, and uh, yeah. Anyway, we met Cave Johnson, the guy who basically started the company, and uh, yeah. Also, Carolyn, who's uh, um, personal assistant or secretary, whatever you want to call her. I would actually wouldn't mind being a secretary. Nice, easy work for me, but I can't get it. And I guess we could get in this lift. Last episode, I tried to get into this lift and I couldn't. Okay. Caution, do not fall down the elevator shaft. <laughs> File that under no shit. Okay, so... Got something over there. Yeah. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Well, um, yeah, okay, never had that happen before. <laughs> okay, let's try to actually pinpoint this. There we go, and we have doors here. If you need to go to the bathroom after this next series of tests, Please let a test associate know, because in all likelihood, whatever comes out of you is going to be cold. Only temporary, so do not worry. If it persists for a week, though, start worrying and come see us, because that's not supposed to happen. Okay. Just a heads up, we're going to have a superconductor turned up full blast and pointed at you for the duration of this next test. I'll be honest, we're throwing science at the wall here to see what sticks. No idea what it'll do. Probably nothing. Best case scenario, you might get some superpowers. Worst case, some tumors, which we'll cut out. Okay. If you've cut yourself at all in the course of these tests, you might have noticed that your blood is pure gasoline. That's normal. We've been shooting you with an invisible laser that's supposed to turn blood into gasoline, so all that means is it's working. My blood into gasoline. Okay, so I think we got to fling through that. And get all the way over there and try not to go into the water. Actually, it's not water, it's like acid. Like sulfuric acid, I think. Which makes sense, because we're in the middle, in the bottom of a snow mine. So. so, it says, do not fall down the elevator shaft. Let's see if we can fall down the elevator shaft to get some, get some speed going. Yeah. Oh, there's a hole right here. And... Woohoo! that. Well, I just woke my cat up. Oh. Pump station alpha. Hmm. Know your hazardous materials. Know your chemical hazards. Uh, is this before Wim uh, Wimis? Pump station alpha. What could happen? Yeah, what could happen? Oh, okay, I guess we gotta go down here. They say great science is built on the shoulders of giants. Not here. At Aperture, we do all our science from scratch. No hand holding. Alright. What could happen? Why is it whenever someone says, tries to do something and say, what could happen, it usually ends up with them missing a limb? My cat is uh, sleeping on one of my uh, dining room chairs and uh, she's got her ear perked up, so I'm thinking I'm disturbing her. 
Oh. All right, let's get started. This first test involves something the lab boys call repulsion gel. You're not part of the control group, by the way. You get the gel. Last poor son of a gun got blue paint. <laughs> All joking aside, that did happen. Broke every bone in his legs. Oh, great. But informative. Or so I'm told. Okay. Well, that's what we're dealing with here. Okay, so we have a sort of blue goo. Whoa! Awesome! It's blue bounty goo. Oh. I hate it when I do that. Okay. That opens the door, but I gotta get over there. Yeah. Geronimo! Okay, and there is a cube, which... Alright. Bit tedious. Awesome. Now we can go over there, and... Boingy? The lab boys just informed me that I should not have mentioned the control group. They're telling me I ought to stop making these pre-recorded messages. That gave me an idea. Make more pre-recorded messages. I pay the bills here. I can talk about the control group all damn day. Yeah. See, what amazes me is that he's talking about science, and he doesn't seem that smart. Which is shocking. Okay. Is there anything over here? Oh, it's an office. Huh. Maybe it's just me, but I do like the hum of fluorescent lights. Like, that's actually why I uh, like the sound for design for... Test, oh. We put nanoparticles in the gel. In layman's terms, that's a billion little gizmos that are going to travel into your bloodstream and pump experimental genes and RNA molecules and so forth into your tumors. Now, maybe you don't have any tumors. Well, don't worry. If you sat on a folding chair in the lobby and weren't wearing lead underpants, we took care of that too. Great. Okay. Oh, great. I don't know what it is, but for some reason, when I use the game recorder, uh, sometimes the portals just look weird. Okay. Aw, oh, damn it. Like, uh... Like, it basically just blanks out sometimes. I don't know if you guys can see that in the game. Oh. But, um... Like in the actual video, but I can see it in my playthrough. Okay, so... Shall we bounce? Let's bounce! Bounce! Oh, great. It... Go on the walls and on the floor. Boingy, 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 boing, 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 boingy. Boingy, 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 stop. Anyone else puke yet? Yeah, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, I almost went through the damn, the, the field with that. Okay. Falling. Boingy. Good. Oh, in case you got covered in that repulsion gel, here's some advice the lab boys gave me. Do not get covered in the repulsion gel. We haven't entirely nailed down what element it is yet, but I'll tell you this, it's a lively one, and it does not like the human skeleton. Great. Oh, look at that. 1953. Oof. Yeah, 1950 science, early 1950 science. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that was about, let's see, eight years after they nuked those, uh, like, 
Hiroshima and Nagasaki? Yeah, not a great year for science, 1945. All these science fears are made of asbestos, by the way. Keeps out the rats. Let us know if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your heart stopping. Because that's not part of the test. That's asbestos. Good news is the lab boys say the symptoms of asbestos poisoning show a median latency of 44.6 years. So if you're 30 or older, you're laughing. Worst case scenario, you miss out on a few rounds of canasta. Plus, you forwarded the cause of science by three centuries. I punch those numbers into my calculator, it makes a happy face. Oh, great. Uh, yeah, good old stuff, asbestos. Good old stuff. Okay, I think we're gonna go there. Oh, I don't like that portal placement. Is that better? Oh. Are you kidding me? There's a freaking... You are kidding me. Okay. I like your style. You make up your own rules, just like me. Bean counter said I couldn't fire a man just for being in a wheelchair. Did it anyway. Ramps are expensive. Okay. So... We got this. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Let's do this. Okay, so I'm gonna talk while I spread this all around. Oh, oh no! <laughs> um, so, for those of you who don't know, I'm actually getting married next year. And uh, we've been trying to plan the wedding, um, especially around like other people's schedules and that. Um, we're having the wedding in uh, May, beginning of May. Um, and, um, yeah, trying to deal with, like, planning with the in-laws and everything, and, uh, yeah, we're having, like, a real super time! Um, okay. And, of course, like, whenever my parents ask me a question about the, the planning and that, I, uh, whoa, what the, oh. Um, if I'm not sure about it, I'm like pretty much every guy just like, uh, I don't know. You'll have to ask her. Because let's face it, guys, I'm not dumb. Um, you know, when it comes to wedding planning, let her do what she wants. Because any idea you're going to have is probably going to be bad. Okay, so, here we go. Alright. Just a little bit of my experience. Okay. Uh, oh. Yeah. Oh, no, I did it. I did it. I thought I, uh... Yeah. Okay. So here's where the fun part comes in. Ready? Ready? I suppose we didn't have to spread that much. Woohoo! Woohoo! Ow. Up, that coffee we gave you earlier had fluorescent calcium in it so we can track the neuronal activity in your brain. There's a slight chance the calcium could harden and vitrify your frontal lobe. Anyway, don't stress yourself thinking about it. I'm serious. Visualizing the scenario while under stress actually triggers the reaction. Are you kidding me? Well, not a real big coffee drinker anyway, so... If I size tea, then I'm screwed. Oh, man. Whenever it goes, like, that long, I think, oh, maybe we're actually get, like, two tests in one or something. But, uh, no, that, uh, no. Okay. 
1958. Now, if you're now. part of control group Kepler 7, we implanted a tiny microchip about the size of a postcard into your skull. Most likely you've forgotten it's even there. But if it starts vibrating and beeping during this next test, let us know. Because that means it's about to hit 500 degrees, so we're going to need to go ahead and get that out of you pretty fast. Okay. So, let's see. Yeah, there like that and oh. Okay, so this stuff clears it off. Okay. So we have to just checking my portal up there. Okay. So I think Yeah, that shuts it off. And then bounce. And then there we go. And where's the timer thingy? Oh, yeah, see? Yeah, it clears it off. I'm telling them, keep your pants on. All right, this next test may involve trace amounts of time travel. So, oh. word of advice, if you meet yourself on the testing track, don't make eye contact. Lab boys tell me that'll wipe out time. Entirely. Forward and backward. So, do both of yourselves a favor and just let that handsome devil go about his business. So, we're dealing with chronotons then. Oh. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. One. Two. Uh oh. Woohoo! Woohoo! Ow. Well, that's kind of cool. Okay. Man, this place has definitely seen better days. Oh, safety first. Uh, accidents hurt. Uh, they hurt you. You will be hurt. They hurt co-workers. Don't endanger others. The company. Replacements are costly. Science. Investigate investigations impede progress. Safety first. <laughs> oh man. Okay. So okay, I think we're gonna have to bounce there. So I know where we get them blue goo. Oh. <laughs> See, that's why it pays to actually check your portals. Is there is a slight chance you might place the wrong portal? And screw up your whole plan. Okay. Woohoo! Woo! Woo! Okay. So, if you guys haven't noticed, I'm kind of trying something new. I'm basically playing like I've never played the game before. Um. Please tell me what you guys think. Like, right now, I'm just trying to. Where did. Okay, is that what? Yep. Yeah. If you're hearing this, it means you're taking a long time on the catwalk between tests. The lab boys say that might be a fear reaction. I'm no psychiatrist, but coming from a bunch of eggheads who wouldn't recognize the thrill of danger if it walked up and snapped their little pink bras, that sounds like projection. They didn't fly into space, storm on the beach, or bring back the gold. No, sir, we did. It's you and me against the world, son. I like your grit. Puzzle can use work, though. Now let's solve this thing. Okay. So we got a cube there. Let's see if I can just fall in here. Nope. Okay. So. Got a cube there. Oh. Oh. Okay. 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 Well, that went weird. Oh, grab it, grab it, grab it. Got it. Okay. Now we gotta rinse it off. Because, uh, yeah, if we put it down, even just gently, it bounces. All right. Okay, so now we need more of the blue stuff. Let's go here. Did I... Oh. Farquad. <laughs> so 
so apparently, uh, if you guys like the Shrek movies, apparently Lord Farquaad uh, got his name because it kind of sounds like fuckwad. <laughs> Which I I don't know if it's true or not, but if it is, it would make so much sense. Oh crap! My aim is off. It's off again. There we go. Okay. Now, a couple things. Uh, first, he does have a point. Uh, science uh, doesn't really make good progress if it's kind of safe. So, you basically do have to take risks. Um, and uh, another thing, I would love to see footage of J.K. Simmons doing the voice work for this. Just seriously. Actually, I'd like to see them all do, uh, like, uh, video footage of them all doing the voice work for this, because I can imagine them... Like, I've seen some uh, footage of people doing voice work, um, and some of them actually do get quite... Um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Expressive with their bodies when they're doing it. Um, yeah. And uh, sometimes it can be funny. Congratulations. Okay. The simple fact that you're standing here listening to me means you've made a glorious contribution to science. As founder and CEO of Aperture Science, I thank you for your participation and hope we can count on you for another round of tests. We're not going to release this stuff into the wild until it's good and damn ready, so as long as you keep yourself in top physical form, there will always be a limo waiting for you. Say goodbye, Carolyn. Goodbye, Carolyn. Okay. She is a gem. Oh. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to call the end of an episode here, guys. Uh, I don't know how long I'm going to be playing today. Uh, if I feel like it, I might actually go through the entire game. Probably not, but uh, you never know. Uh, so if just finished the 1950s test chambers. We're about to go to 1971 with uh, the beta stuff. Yeah, beta stuff's always fun, isn't it? Yeah, always good to beta test shit. So, um, I hope you guys have been enjoying this playthrough. Plus playthrough so far. Bleh, tongue, to uh, tongue twister. Um, and I hope my fiance won't mind me talking about the wedding stuff too much. Just something to pass the time. Um, so, until next time, guys, this is Shocker Cyclone signing off. Hope you guys are enjoying this so far. Goodbye. Oh. <laughs> I just hit S6 when I meant to hit F8.